All right, folks, today I'm going to talk about choosing the proper anchor and setup for your style of depending on where you are fishing uh, from a canoe. This is setting up an anchor from a canoe. Um, what I recommend, there's a rule, they call it the seven to one rule. By that I mean if you're fishing 20 feet of water, if you're anchored in a, hundred, a 20 foot of water, you're technically supposed to have 140 feet of rope. Um, I used to not abide by that and I'm here to tell you if you're anchored and your anchor is just barely touching, your line's just running up, the slightest wind movement or other current factors or whatever is going to move you. It's not going to hold still. Um, I went out and bought a 150 foot roll of 3 8 inch anchor line. It also has this on the end, the loop, the metal loop. Okay. 7 to 1 rule, always remember that. Problem with that is one of the places I fish in February for walleye is 50 to 60 foot deep. Uh, so that would require 300 feet of rope. So I'm hoping the 150 will cut it for that. That would be three times the amount of the depth. All right, the first mistake I made when first purchasing an anchor was I bought one of these mushroom shaped ones like this. It's 20 pounds, it's really heavy, but if you're fishing a river that has moderate to heavy current, this is not the anchor you want. This is only meant for lakes, farm ponds, and, and maybe reservoirs or a really calm sluggish river. Okay, so when I'd use, I took this with me to my walleye spot back in February about three times and it would, um, it would always move. Sometimes it would stay if it hadn't rained for a while, but the wind if it was more than five mile an hour it would move it so if you're fishing a river that has current to it do not use this kind of anchor this is only meant for lakes so i went ahead and did keep it because there's a lot of spots i can keep it when you're fishing current you want an anchor like this it pivots and it actually digs into the bottom whether it be sand mud or it will eventually get stuck on a rock which you will be able to get it out. All you gotta do is backtrack and go above it when you want it free. Uh, and you're actually supposed to, it's recommended that you tie about eight to 10 chain links around here uh, with a rope on the bottom and it keeps that, uh, it keeps this pole weighted down and it keeps the, the points weighted down. Now there is other types of anchors that's even better than this. You have ones that's got more like a thin prongs. It's got like the four uh, prongs. Those are definitely the best for latching onto something and holding you in place. Like I said, the problem there though, it will get stuck. And when you want to move and go somewhere else, you have to paddle up above to work on the opposite side of where it's hung and pulled up. Now, as far as the setup, you want to get you one of these that close like this and you want to get one of these this one's really easy because it opens up like this most of the general ones they sit there and screw in and what you want to do this hook right here is going to hook in the end of the anchor see how it's got a metal ring there that's going to hook in there this side here will hook through the anchor like that see I got this like that and then I'll be able to hook it through there now another common mistake people make when anchoring in a canoe is especially with mine it's really tempting and I'd still do it is I have the two wooden bars that go across my canoe I always want to put the anchor I always want to tie the rope right here because it's close for me from where I'm setting um, but if you're in a really swift river you want to anchor from either the, the burner stern or bow in. You don't want to anchor in the middle. Now, if you're in calm water, it's not a big deal. It won't matter whatsoever. But when you're, like I said, when you're in swift water, you want to anchor from there or at there. And it'll just involve you having to turn around a little bit or hurt your back a little bit or whatever. Um, but when you're in calm water, it's not a big deal. I hope this helped and uh, 
that way you don't waste money buying the wrong angler like I did but now at least I have two different types they're both the same weight and this would work in a lake but I I prefer to use the the mushroom shaped one in the lake so now I will have both kinds so it's actually beneficial for me that I bought that one all right hope this was helpful to any of you and uh, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and I might have another video for you later this evening if I do good last night I made a really good video um, but the problem was it was completely dark um, so you could not see the fish even when I was holding them right in front of the camera like this we fished below a dam with crankbaits deep diving crankbaits right where the tailwater gushes out and I was dragging that crankbait along the bottom now I did lose a few crankbaits but that's what it takes to get them uh, caught me a, a nice white bass a black buffalo a five pound largemouth a channel cat and the only reason I really left was because the mosquitoes were so bad bug spray is not even help uh, it, they're, they're that bad down there so I had to leave um, so I did go out and I bought me a little headlamp that connects onto I ain't got it it's in here I got a little headlamp that connects onto my hat camera now so I won't have that problem again I already tested it out just a little battery operated uh, strap on light that I'm able to put on the bill of my hat so I may test that out because I know I am going to counter that again when I'm walleye fishing in the winter time you always get a good walleye right at dark or where it's getting hard to see and of course catfishing so um, you know it's another good product you can pick up if you do your own filming because I was really disappointed when that video didn't work um, because it was a good it was a good evening it was just like an hour but I caught uh, four monsters four different species um, unfortunately the video didn't work so that's another tool you can go out and get yourself all right I'm getting ready to get out of here to head to our next spot you guys take care and I'll see you later tonight hopefully bye